Okay. A cool story, huh? That's a bit tricky. When you're looking for a chilling tale, I think ghost stories are the standard choice. Fortunately, I'm not lacking that department, a legacy of the time I spent at my old school. Alright then, this is something I heard from my upperclassmen at my previous school. God damn it, I don't want to hear the fucking... This is the story of an American soldier who found himself on Southburn Island. The night flooded with lukewarm rain. The soldier was making his way south through the darkened jungle amid the pelting downpour following a native trail with, with eight companions. The objective was an enemy anti-aircraft position. The rain had been falling for two days straight, leaving the ground swampy as a paddy field with the moon hidden by the thick, strong clouds. The soldier couldn't even see the back of the ground of the car, uh, walking two or three meters ahead. Squad nerves. I can't, don't want to read this. Squad's nerves were already worn by the structurous darkness of the of the night jungle, but the relentless rain piercing through the tree canopy was slowly sapping their endurance as well. On top of, all, top of it all, the rough map they received from the scouts was vague to the point of uselessness. Good for looking, but not further fueling their anxiety. The squad trotted on a vir virtual crawl through the knee-deep mud, it was eventual that their formation grew increasingly loose. With an American soldier, a sniper bringing up the rear of the column, just really struggling to avoid getting separated from the rest of the, his unit. Eventually, he heard a distinctive clacking from some distance in front of him, rising above the sound of the rain. He recognized the sound as the cast castanet platoon leader carried it as a means to communicate at night or in poor visibility conditions where had a sing signals were implicated. The number of times he clacked indicated in order to halt on the spot. The men dropped to their knees in the muddy water, grasped his rifle to his breast, and removed the lens cap from his scope, shielding it from the rain. An enemy ambush. Lying flat on the spot, the men pressed his strong eye against the gun's sight. The back of the soldier in from a of him came into view. No shots have been fired as of yet. Earlier reconnaissance had indicated there were barely any enemy troops or armed guerrillas in this area. If there were enemies here, the odds were that, were that they would be scouts as most likely a fairly small group. I hope you don't mind, but it's gonna be... I cannot read all of this. Not to mention, I don't think my ears are going to survive. Okay, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm going to be rapidly clicking this until this is over. Face it, I am not reading that. As 30 minutes passed, when the man came, came to himself, the rain had, ironically enough, finally stopped. His vision had largely recovered. When he looked around, he saw his companions, all just as filthy with mud. Hey, Shorty, you still alive? The sniper was still scouring on the ground when the voice called to him. It belongs to a, a plat man who joined the army at the same time as him. Basically, this is this is his back. This is Yuji's backstory of when he was part of the army. I would not read it. Not gonna read it. You're welcome to watch the second season. Season of the show. I'm not going to read this. I'm not going to read all this.
So in the end, who had taken the men's grenade? Perhaps the lingering spirits still clinging to the battlefield even in death? Or so the story went, what do you think? Get it? Get a bit of a chill? Oh, sorry about that. Forget it. My bad. Uh, yeah, I got it. Makina throws her empty juice box into a trash can and starts to pat her away. As usual, she leaves as quickly as she arrives. This time, after walking about three meters, Makina stops at the spot and turns back to me. What? That's the pen all here's the thing. My personal answer to that question? It's all depending on what you believe in. What you believe in. If you believe there's none, there's none. If you believe in heaven, there's heaven. There's if you believe in hell, there's hell. If you believe in something else, there's something else. Like that's the thing. It's always depending. If you believe in reincarnation, you believe in reincarnation. Like it's all on your perspective. Life after death. Hmm? Can't say for sure since I never experienced it firsthand. If you you believe in it, then maybe there is. In, in the army, there's a popular story about an afterlife exclusively for soldiers. It's a story you'll f find in the armed forces of pretty much any country in pretty much identical form. If you believe an entire life is waiting for you, it will be, I'm sure it's something like that. With those words, she runs off this time without looking back. I don't think I say anything particularly interesting, but hearing the words of thanks actually lightens my mood anyway. Drinking up the remaining oolong tea with a gulp, I throw the empty cup in a trash bin and walk off toward her classroom for the sixth period class. There's a subspecies of woman distinguished by a, in by an excessive kind of help, helpfulness, the burning desire to take care of other people's problem. Within a few days of entering the school, I had a rough idea that so um and fit that this busybody woman classification. But I have, I have to admit, I wasn't expecting her to extend her meddling to me quite so quickly. Although I suppose it's inevitable that we run into each other a lot since we live in the same dorm, it seems like she's coming up to me at every free moment in playing the big sister. When she put herself in my shoes, it's not easy having to politely shoot her down every time. Not wasting any time, are you? I'm not sure how she got the idea, idea in her head, but lately every time I our break begins. Armin been clinging, clinging to me from behind. <laughs> then forcibly pressing her oversized lumps of press blubber against me, as if to say, "Check it out! I'm a <laughs> dead character. <laughs> the way they group <laughs> just like a little. It's a very popular <laughs> with the enthusiasts." Any male viewers would agree? I'm not one of them. Look, you're heavy. Remove your chest flab from my head. Contrary, I'm something of a fan. I prefer I prefer that if a man sexual harasses me, at least I can knock him flat without feeling guilty about it. What do you want from me? If you have something to say, then spit it out already. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Thanks, sis, but a big boy in the house, so could you please get lost? Again, my mentality puts me literally in the shoes of the character, and I end up with the feeling, the very thing that, that my character feels. To say this is awkward and weird is beyond anything. Stop that, I'm a tinty little thing, I'll break more easily than you think. Mainly <laughs> the back of my neck feels off now. You see, a snapping turtle would release prey from its bite even if a little if lightning strikes nearby. Almond is a similar beast, once she clings to me, my only release is the sound of the bell. If this woman kept a pig cat, I'm positive it would go bald from stress within a week. Not, I'm not confident my own hair will be safe if I allow this to salt to continue. If it's about time I get my message across, even if it requires taking a somewhat harsh attitude. Amen. That's about it. That's how it's a begin to shout. Sakaki appears with spectacular timing. <laughs> Yumiko grimaces at Almond's response. Her glare is expressive. Yeah. Who are you supposed to be? もう。次の地歴の授業で使うプロジェクターの準備があるでしょ。ああ、そうか。今日の密着は私とマキナだ。イリスさん一人で準備を始めたけど、放っておいていいの?ごめん、ユージ君。Don't mind me. Finally released me, what a noisy woman. What do you mean? Make it sound like you're familiar with her past. Have you known Amen that long? Solomon wasn't always like this. I just don't understand that, the, the woman. Why does she drag herself all over me like that? I did. Just the other day, having stocked up on necessities from my no new dorm life at the local supermarket. I was wandering literally around the area in front of the station. Don't call me that. Spare me. I can't get any cuter than I already am. All the other girls will get jealous and start picking on me. I cool. I'm gonna point at the plastic plastic supermarket bag dangling from my hand. Look, you don't just start rifling from my bag. You are, you are as knowledgeable as ever, do you? Wander around comparing prices all day long? Um, she's got an impression of devotion to economizing. I felt definite admiration that since my master was the sort of wild woman who brought things without even looking at the price tag. Well, I'm not that caught up on the price. I appreciate the thought, but I was just 
just want a store if that's convenient. It's all well and good to wander around looking for bargains, but when you consider the increased effort of consumption of time involved, getting too picky frequently turns into a loss. That's right, I'll be going. Yeah, I did finish my shopping. As soon as the words left her mouth, Amin was standing by my side, firmly grasping my hand. What do you think you're doing? This, of course. I demonstrate I raised my, the hand that Armin had gripped, or rather captured, her fingers entwined tightly with mine. What am I, a kid who can't go home unless Mama pulls him there? I got to admit, I don't remember acting quite that adorable, so I'm very interested in where you're going coming from here. Still gripping my right hand tightly, Amon raised the forefinger on the on the other hand against her lip and racked her brains for, for an answer. Oh, is that it? If it's foreplay, then I guess I have to play along. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Did you really think I'll say that? Off. I forcefully yanked my arm free, shaking off Amon's grip. <laughs> if you think that puppy dog face will make me act nicer out of guilt, you're very wrong. Don't flirt in public, that's a rule of mine. Stop twisting my words. The point is, I can't think of a single person why I should hold hands with you. It's not an answer to the question why you want to hold hands. Mm. Some kind of obsessive compulsive disorder. What sort of accident was it? The hell? <laughs> she spoke. I'm in. Took my hand for a second time. Joking? Where did the joke start? This is irritating. Take the left at least. I can calm down when someone's got a hold on my dominant. I can't calm down when someone's got a hold on my dominant hand. Why get friendly with me? Hard to say, didn't have any. I wouldn't say you don't, I just want to understand your motive. You're a weird one. I'm going back. Having moved to my left as I requested, Amin didn't mess around any further. On her way back, she calmly acted her age. Holding her hands really did seem to be enough to satisfy her. Doubts did run through my mind considering it's only been a few days since we met. She's Charlie friendly, but still as she, she is a member of our class full of special cases. Despite her relative normal fit facade, Amin must have her own unhappy circumstances as hand holding may well have some meaning for her. Oh, make a detective of you yet. Sakaki, what sort of accident was Amin involved in? It's not something you can talk about, I'll leave it alone. A car crash? 
何でも彼女が乗っていたバスが事故を起こしてそれが原因で心を病んでいるという話を手をつなぎたがる癖があるなんて話は過分にして聞いたことがないわね Why was she so persistent about it? だから知らないのよ彼女視力が悪いようだしそれが原因じゃない That I say make you want to hold hands? そう視力が未発達な赤ん坊が何でも口に入れて舌で物体の形状や温度を認識するのと同じで何でも触ってみないと落ち着かないんじゃないかしら Possible theory, but I'm having a hard time buying it in her case. In the first place, are her eyes that terrible? I'm wasting my breath talking to you. I guess we're done here, or we would be if I hadn't just spotted Komen Sachi out of the corner of my eyes. Hey Sachi, you have a minute? Do you know anything in particular about Amon's past? Hmm, so, in other words, nobody knows the whole story. True enough. As long as the person in question doesn't want to discuss it, I suppose I shouldn't pry any further. In the first place, I'm a little devious that Amon's past really has anything to do with holding hand, my hand. Hmm, that's taking things a little in a new direction. Specifically, where do you think I did? What's so funny? Well, whatever. Neither rings a bell. I have no memories of us being lovers in a previous life either. Think so? Hmm. Incidentally, Sachi, does that mean you've got an interest in holding hands going on a date with me as well? Sachi's problem. I see. Thank you for a valuable opinion. I'll file it under not helpful in the slightest. How about you, Sakaki? Right, got any interests? I get the picture. Thanks for so much for your compensation. So, in the end, asking around didn't get me anything resembling a clear answer. From what Sakaki says, it doesn't seem like Amin、um, wants to hold hands indiscriminately. The mystery, mystery is only the deep end. <laughs> and there's Makina. At that moment, I'm enters the classroom pulling Makina by the hand, obviously to our gossiping. I point my thumb towards the pair in. Their connected hands. You said Ahmed doesn't have a habit of holding hands, right? <laughs> Sakaki watches Ahmed and Makina as she speaks. Suddenly, she claps her hands together as if stuck by a burst of insight. Say what? Wait, what? I've been put in the same category? 
with a kid like this who you half expect to get lost tortoring after a butterfly? What a seriously unpleasant thought. I appreciate that you're probably trying to help, but that's basically an indirect way of saying you look like a hopeless man. Akaki, could you please stop rubbing salt in the wound without even realizing it's kind of stinks? Mind answering one last question for me? Is there even a single normal person in this school? True enough. Not that they got any special variety of unhappiness. Sensing the admiration underneath Sakaki's words, I feel the stirring of something like shame. And I should really end- I'm going to end this here. I'm going to take a bit of a break of recording. I'm only- how many parts in? This is the fourth part. So I'll probably pick it up and record sometime later. But for now, I'm going to take a break. Break for a long while. Hope you guys have enjoyed so far.